We've all heard that feeding breast milk has many benefits for mom and baby. But have you heard how many mothers in Ottawa make the decision to breastfeed? Or how many mothers actually try to breastfeed their babies after birth? Just how many mothers are breastfeeding at six months and at one year? And what are some of the reasons that women stop feeding breast milk? We'd like to tell you what we've heard from Ottawa mothers interviewed through Ottawa Public Health's Infant Feeding Surveillance System. In 2014, nearly all Ottawa mothers intended to breastfeed and 9 out of 10 wanted to breastfeed exclusively. Shortly after birth, nearly all mothers tried to breastfeed their baby. First-time mothers with higher household income were four times more likely to try to breastfeed than those with low household income. Experienced mothers were more likely to try and breastfeed if they had breastfed another child, had a full-term birth, were born outside of Canada, were younger, or if they had a household income of $30,000 or more. 94% of mothers breastfed when they left the hospital, and 70% of mothers continue to breastfeed at six months of age. First-time mothers were more likely to breastfeed at six months if they did not feed formula in the hospital, waited until six months to introduce cereal, were more educated, spoke English as their mother tongue language compared to French. We heard from mothers that the most common reasons for stopping breastfeeding before six months were concerns with inadequate milk supply, difficulties with breastfeeding, and having a medical condition. Breastfeeding rates in Ottawa are high between birth and six months of age. However, the World Health Organization and Health Canada recommend that mothers breastfeed exclusively or only provide breast milk for the first six months of life. So while 60% of mothers are feeding breast milk exclusively on discharge from the hospital, this drops to 41% by the time babies are two weeks old, 20% by five months of age, and 8% at six months of age in 2014. While there was no difference between first-time and experienced mothers in exclusive breastfeeding or on discharge from hospital, at two weeks, first-time mothers were less likely to exclusively breastfeed compared to experienced mothers. Among first-time mothers, those with higher education and with vaginal birth were more likely to breastfeed exclusively until six months of age. The drop in exclusive breastfeeding is primarily due to the use of formula, liquids, and solid foods before six months of age. In the hospital, close to half of infants who were started on breast milk were also fed formula. Of those mothers who wanted to exclusively breastfeed, one-third also fed formula when they left the hospital. Why is this important? Well, we found that mothers who did not feed formula in the hospital were five times as likely to continue to breastfeed for six months or longer. Between birth and six months, three quarters of mothers feed formula to their infant. The most common reasons that mothers reported for introducing formula were concerns with milk supply, having a medical condition, and difficulties with breastfeeding. Over two-thirds of mothers reported that they introduced cereal or other foods before their baby was six months old. The top three reasons mothers said that they introduced solids were my baby was ready for solids, a health professional advised me, and I thought my infant was not getting enough milk. We've now heard about breastfeeding from birth until six months. But did you know that the World Health Organization and Health Canada recommend that breastfeeding continue up to the age of two years and beyond? In Ottawa, at least 23% of mothers continue to breastfeed until their child is one year old. One in four mothers who stopped breastfeeding before 12 months said that they did so because they were returning to work or school. 22% of mothers who stopped before 12 months reported a concern over low milk supply. As you have heard, many Ottawa mothers make the decision to try to breastfeed and many are successful at breastfeeding until their infant is six months old. However, there is a significant drop in exclusive breastfeeding when mothers leave the hospital. Many resources are available to support Ottawa families with their feeding choices. Some of these include free prenatal classes offered online at the Parenting in Ottawa website or in person at Ottawa Public Libraries. The Ottawa Public Health Information Line, available Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Ottawa Breastfeeding Buddies Program, a mother-to-mother -mother support program for pregnant or new breastfeeding mothers. Free Parenting in Ottawa drop-ins across the city, offering breastfeeding and well-baby support by a public health nurse or lactation consultant. The Parenting in Ottawa website, and Facebook page that provide online support by a public health nurse, as well as information and resources. 
All of these resources can be found on the Parenting in Ottawa website. To view the full report on infant feeding, visit ottawa.ca.